Okay, I just finished episode four of Cloak and Dagger. It came on tonight. I just finished it. And I had to record this right away. Favorite episode so far of this season. I mean, there's only four episodes in, but that's saying a lot because I really enjoyed the first two episodes. And last week's episode had some really good key moments I was waiting to see. But in this, we got Tandy and Tyrone right off the back interacting with each other, getting to know each other, laying it all out there, telling each other everything that they're not telling everybody else. And I think it worked great. The chemistry was great there. Um, something I picked up on, uh, yeah, I mean, we all picked up on this. Tyrone seems really, like, mild-mannered and, you know, kind of shy or just, you know, calm and timid. And he's got some issues in him, though. You get him angry, he snaps on you. But um, let's let's just go to it. What, what did he tell his dad? He said something, his dad was like, what's up with my bolt cutters or whatever. And he said, um, I expect you to understand when it's none of your business. What is up with these kids nowadays thinking their business is not their parents' business? How much privacy do you need when your parents are responsible for you? They're called your legal guardians. That means everything that goes on with you affects them. It's their business. You know what I'm saying? These kids, man. Somebody on Twitter said something interesting. She said Tyrone's acting like his name's Todd or something like that. I forgot. You know, like snotty, spoiled, rich kids, how they talk back to their parents. He was acting like that. But anyway, I really enjoyed all the scenes in the church with Tandy and Tyrone. I really did. They was doing some bonding. He made her laugh. I ain't seen her laugh like that since, what, the first episode? Of, like when she pulled that, uh, that you know, heist on that dude at his home. But um, she smiled and she laughed and they were getting along and they can confide in each other and tell each other's things. That you don't, they're not telling everybody else. So that was good. I saw some bonding with them. And I like how they played that. I'm pretty sure that was happening before all the events we've seen. When he went with his dad to uh, that group that his dad, the society, his father was a part of. And when she found out Greg was actually a pretty cool guy that her mom was dating. Although he was married. Sounded like it was an arrangement. He was trying to help her. But who marries somebody when you're trying to help them? You know what I mean? I mean, if you want to help them for life and you're like, you're going to be my wife. I'm going to start a family with you. Cool. You know what I mean? But um, whatever. When she touched Greg's hand. And try to see, you know, his his real feelings, what he hopes for, you know what I mean? The, the things that he looks forward to the most. And it was actually being a family with Tandy and her mom. I was like, oh, man, here they go. They're going to make me like this guy. I had a feeling, though. You know, he probably was doing drugs with her and stuff. And he admitted to it. I'm not perfect, but we get along. And hopefully I can help, you know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, they just get rid of Greg just like that. Somebody just shot him. I, I, it's a ground floor office with big windows. And some woman in a hat just walks right up and shoot him in the head. You know, I was like, what the, the you know, Roxon is a company you don't want to be messing with. And he doesn't even work for them or anything. They must have found out he was doing some digging on them or something because, dang, they just got rid of him. We know it was Roxon. Roxon's going to be a big part of everything that's going on. What's that girl name? I forgot her name again because she's not that important. Cute, sweet girl. The one that likes Tyrone and everything. Um, have fun. Have fun, chick. You only did it temporarily. You're going to be gone. Now, here's the interesting thing. The argument they had in the church when Tandy was uh, telling Tyrone how she contemplated suicide before she thought about it. And he's sitting there like, you you should be happy to be alive. You can do so much with your life. You can change things around. You just want to end your life. It's not that easy when you're talking with somebody who deals with suicide and depression and stuff like that. Um, trust me, I know firsthand experience. I had a lot of friends who... Um, deal with that but anyway the thing is he's trying to tell her you have so much there's people who are dying or that did die that wish they could just still have life like you do and you're just going to give it up but they don't see things the same way he snapped on her and she snapped back didn't she of course you know the happiness we was getting from watching them connect in the church wasn't going to last of course it wasn't we get too happy they, they had to do that they had to do that but i'm not worried because they're drawing each other their powers draw them to each other not just that they're made for each other. They're going to fall in love. Listen to me. I sound like a little girl, you know, blushing over a favorite episode of some kind. of. Yeah, that's me. I'm into that stuff, romance and stuff. And plus, I really like these characters from the comics. So that's another reason I like the show. This show is good. The writing's good. Some top-notch writing, man. I'm going to say it's some really well-done writing. You know what I mean? It's not like the best show on TV, the best writing ever. But this show isn't a letdown by far at all. Did you see the school on Rotten Tomatoes? Certified fresh. For you who don't know how Rotten Tomatoes work, let me explain it. I mean, a lot of us do, but there's some people who don't. They are not giving the score 
of what they think the show is. They're given a score of an average of how many of the reviews were good and bad, basically. I mean, if there's only 10 reviews from 10 professional critics, the ones that are certified critics, 10 reviews, and only three of them are bad, its score is going to be 70%. That's how it works. If it gets 10 reviews and only one is bad, its score is going to be 90%. They'd go by how many of the reviews were good and they give it this score that way. It is That's basically all it does. So if you don't understand that, cool. Stop thinking Rotten Tomatoes is saying, oh, we rated a 90 because we thought it was. They don't even do that. Not reviewing them. God darn it anyway. But yeah, that means people like this show, man. I'm glad. I can't wait to see the future of this. What if this lasts like five or seven seasons? Because they're still some young adults. They're young adults, and they're going to grow up. You know what I mean? And they're going to change. I'm sitting here thinking now, because you know how it is when you first start watching the show. You have no idea how it's going to be five, six seasons down the road or whatever. And it, everything changes. New people, new cast members, and the main characters change and stuff like that. I was thinking about that while I was watching. It's a really good episode. I really like this favorite episode by far. Um, because it gave us what we wanted. You know, they were building up, you know, building Tyrone and Tandy's life without them two together and showing us what they have going on. And now, you know, they're interacting with each other. So, yeah, they're going to be back talking to each other next episode. I'm pretty sure he's going to forgive her for what she said and she's going to forgive him. Got to. It's Cloak and Dagger. It's not Cloak. Oh, and next week we got Dagger. No, it's Cloak and Dagger together. Anyway, that's it. That's my review. It was, it was short. It was simple. You know. Oh man, what happened to um Tandy's um homeboy? What's his name? Liam? He ain't call her again from jail. <laughs> that dude's gonna start working for Rock. He's gonna probably be a problem they gotta deal with outside of all the stuff with Roxon and the cop that killed Tyrone's brother. Um he's probably gonna be trying to sabotage stuff or ruin stuff. Or he gets jealous seeing them two together. I'm calling that now. He gets jealous seeing Tyrone and Tandy together. Anyway, that's my review. If you like it, leave some comments. Let's talk about this. Like the video if you liked it, you know what I mean? Why not? The button's right there. Just hit it. Just hit it. That's it. See you next time.